Hey guys, it's for welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're old, you're super welcome. Please hit the, the red subscription button below and subscribe to my channel. Peggy didn't actually come prepared like with all her stuffs as she just came for a visit and yep she was not helpful like I didn't have to go to the salon anymore and luckily I had most of the tools at home. So one hand down one more to go. I don't know I've just been warning her do these nails very well I don't know why I always doubt Peggy sometimes. <laughs> She's very fast. I don't know because she's very fast. Sometimes I'll be like, ah, is it because it's like you are too fast, so you need to slow down? She too, she just know that she cannot even get on my nerves this period like this. She has to be perfect. Peggy Dina's stylist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pedicures, the makeup artist, the everything. <laughs> she's actually very talented. And one thing I love the most about her, she can make very beautiful braid. So because they are pressed on nails, it doesn't really take so long to fix. According to like uh, my friend has sold them to me, she, she said something I can actually do my, um, by myself. For me, I don't want to try shit. Like this is like a gum. All this stuff you see here. You just cut a bit. Place on the nails and place on your your finger. So she just glued there. But that doesn't last for long. No, because most of them are really very long. So it's not something you use on a, a daily basis. So you just put them there for temporal uh, time. When maybe when you want to go out or like I want to do this shoot now, just because of the shoot I'm doing these nails. You wear them, you go for your shoot, come back, remove them and keep. And so finally we're done. I told you they don't take the long. And now it was time for me to head to Use Market to buy um materials for making my hair, like laying my front house. Because like I said, Peggy didn't come with anything, she just came to visit me and she ended up staying for some days and it now happened that okay, this period I want to to my maternity shoot like i just have to do it because i'm, I'm like it's nine weeks gone before i give birth so i have uh, most of the stuff at home like the got to be glue gorilla whatever um I, I still need a few more things like i don't have hand dryer i don't have um mousse and some other very few stuff and the hair is not weak yet as you know so um, I need to buy a needle thread and just a very few little things so down to the market so this is some um, Banex Junction driving with heavy pregnancy <laughs> we used to say I'm really strong like they couldn't drive like from seven months and stuff there was a there was a point where i couldn't like i find driving really stressful and not really stressful i find it scary whenever i'm on on, on the steering i'll be like my eyes just start becoming blurry i will not be seen clear i'll start shaking i'll be very scared even the speed i move uh, i just drive very slowly but at some point i think around eight months and I go back myself, I was not very, very okay, and just saying it no more. I was even now driving very rough <laughs> between traffic lights and breaking traffic rules, and all of that. When they check, I, Madam, what's your phone? I'll just be using my tummy to give excuses. Uh, I'm tired, I'm this and that. I hope finally we arrived at the same market. Parking space was really, really, really tight today, so I have to turn and turn and turn and turn. Uh. 
the security kept directing me to like cut the perfect spot. It wasn't really that perfect because as I was going out, someone blocked me. But yep, at the end of the day, I was able to get everything I needed for my hair. Just sweating too so much. I forgot to mention. So I got a plain white chiffon material. That actually went for um, one thousand naira per yard. So I got eight yards of this. Um, at the end of the day, I was not able to meet up with the shoot that day because I have to do my nails. I have to go to the market, get all the materials um, that we use in making the hair, the fabric and all of that even this hand dryer so i couldn't meet up there was no time i had to like all right okay i think we'll just no frontal is not something you can lay and wait for the, so i have to wait and do it that morning of the shoot which is the next day but then peggy has not done my frontals before like she's always braiding my hair I only go to her when i want to braid so when she came up and she was like ah, she, she can install um frontal I was like, no, 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 Peggy, uh, it's not everything you can do. Only you can make up as this everything. No, 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 you will not do it though. <laughs> My husband was like, ah, she said she can do it. Why are you doubting her abilities? I was like, okay, let's see. So I now called my help, um, a victory that she should come and sit. I brought out one of my frontal wig for Peggy. I was like, okay, I'll yeah, do it. Let me see now. Mm, she tried. But I had a problem, it went too backward, that was the only problem, so I just told her, if you are doing mine, just try and bring it um, forward a bit. So, and I like her because she's somebody that takes correction and she doesn't get angry. Not some people that when they do something that you don't like, and you be like, I don't like this thing, they'll start arguing. But this is how it's supposed to be. This, this, this. She say, okay, sorry, I'll do it well. How do you want it? She's very calm and patient and she would like to just do what the customer actually wants. She's a very good person. She has a good personality as well. So she did this hair on victory. <laughs> I hope she pulled this through. I hope so. Her hair, like Victory's hair, was not flat. She has um, she's on low cut though, but it's high up there, so the hair was not really flat. I that before. <laughs> but then I think Peggy actually tried. But then also, I didn't like the way she laid the edges. Like, I don't like my edges like that. Um, brown, round, round, back to back. So I thought I just want uh, two by this side, two by the other side as well. And that she has to give me this exact Nengi look. And finally, she tries to create the look. I think she actually tried so I was I was convinced to give her a try but then yeah I just wanted to give her a try I haven't seen her done front house for anyone but she said she used to do it because she actually have a salon she used to do it in her salon but then I was like Peggy I know you to be a very good breeder but this I don't know about so I think she tried, if she's actually able to pull this through, I'll just pack it all to the back.